This is the main screen for BT Link Mobile. The six standard parameters displayed are heart rate, SpO2, non invasive blood pressure, end tidal CO2, invasive blood pressure, and temperature. These parameters can be changed by hitting the gear icon at the bottom of the screen. This will bring up the preferences menu. The very top of the menu will display the current mode your app is in and can even be changed from here. Hitting the green Capture Image Path button will show the location that screenshots will be saved on your mobile device. Scrolling down, you can select the unit of measure you would like to be displayed for gas pressure and temperature. Below this, you can also change the parameters that are displayed on the main screen. Note that the respiration, end tidal CO2, and anesthetic gas settings are mutually exclusive, and selecting one will disable the other two. Below these are the settings for the mobile device IP and the IP of any connected monitor. Tap the green Device IP button to display or select any connected monitors, similar to tapping the ID field on the main screen. The next section covers the alarm settings for your app. Be advised that changing the alarm settings on your app only changes your mobile device settings and not the alarm settings for BT Link or your connected patient monitors. The first three alarm settings control the volume of alarm on your mobile device. You can choose None, Low, Medium, or High. You can also decide if you would like your mobile device to vibrate when the alarm goes off. The next set of alarm settings control how frequently the alarm for each condition will go off. You can set each condition to Message, which will only display a message on your main screen, Low, for an alarm that will sound every 55 seconds, Medium, for an alarm that will sound every 20 seconds, and High, for an alarm that will sound every 6 seconds. After the alarm settings, you will find a setting for Recording Interval and the ability to prevent the screen from turning off during recording. Next, you are able to determine which specific parameters you would like to record when activated. Not selecting any of these will default to recording all parameters. The final setting is to write in the hospital or practice name you operate under. Scrolling back to the top of the screen will allow you to hit the arrow in the top left to return to the main screen. Now that we're back to the main screen, let's take a tour. In the top left corner of the screen, there is the report button. Tap this to view a list of reports that you have recorded from your app and stored on your device. Tap any of these reports to open the PDF file of the report. Going back to the main menu, the upper right hand corner has the mode selector that you should already be familiar with by connecting your app to a monitor or computer. Below this is the message display, where your device's IP is most often displayed. This space is also used to display alarm messages. The majority of the main screen is taken up with your displayed parameters. You can tap on a parameter to bring up the waveform screen for that parameter. Note that this only works for heart rate, SpO2, end tidal CO2, and invasive blood pressure. Once in the waveform screen, you can witness the specific parameter waveform more closely. You can also tap on the waveform to bring up the wave settings menu. From here, you can adjust time to adjust how close together the waveform is, or scale to adjust how large the waveform gets. Back to the main screen once again. Below this is the gear icon for settings, and the bell icon next to it adjusts your alarm with text to say what the alarm is set to. You can tap multiple times to change the alarm setting to pause for five minutes or turn off entirely. The camera icon will save a screenshot of your current screen. The play button will activate data recording and open a recording setup menu. Here you can adjust the time interval between data points and the units of measure. Press OK to begin recording, or Cancel to return to the main screen. Once recording has begun, press the Stop button to stop recording. This will bring up a menu to properly identify the report with patient ID, date, start and end times of the recording, and who recorded the data. Hitting Cancel will return you to the recording, and hitting OK will return you to the main screen, with your recorded data now being accessible in the Report button at the top. Finally, the X icon will close out of your app. Be advised that this app allows for background notifications and the app will not fully disconnect until you have turned off server or client mode.